So daktari mpendo wa mtazamaji hii ni Captain TV. Jina langu ni Father Gerald Omunyin kutoka shirika la tafakari waeneza injili ya moyo wa Yesu Kristu. Uhali gani mpendo wa mtazamaji? Nikitumahi umzima buheri wa afya popote ulipo. Unapokitagia kituo hiki unachokienzi na kukidhamini. Mimi kutoka shirika la tafakari waeneza injili ya moyo wa Yesu Kristu. Kipindi chako cha kila siku ya Jumatano kuanzia saa moja hadi uh, saa mbili. Mtafakari vikundi katika kanisa letu takatifu vikundi vya sala hususan ili uweze kuelewa kwa undani jinsi ambavyo vikundi hivi vilivyoanzishwa jinsi ambavyo tunasali na vile mama kanisa anavyotujuza na ruhusa mama kanisa ametupatia kwa vikundi hivi vya sala basi kwa njia kipekee leo tutazungumza kuhusu si mwingine bali tunamzungumzia mtakatifu Yosefu consecration to St Joseph kikundi cha sala katika kanisa letu takatifu wale ambao wako na devotion to St Joseph kabla tujaanza basi mpendwa mtazamaji hebu tusali kwa jina la baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu amina Mungu mwenyezi kupitia maombezi ya mtakatifu Yusufu uweze kutubariki kwa njia kipekee wale ambao wako na devotion kwa mtakatifu Yusufu baraka zako ziwe pamoja nasi na kwa mtazamaji ambaye anatufuatia kwenye kipindi hiki baraka zako ziwe pamoja naye tunaomba hayo kwa njia bwana wetu Yesu Kristu mwanao unaishi na kutawala nawe katika moja wa roho mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele amina kwa jina la baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu amina basi mpendo wa mtazamaji leo ta switch kidogo kwa kizungu tunaenda kwa Kiswahili kwa sababu ya matamshi ma, ya maneno mengine hayawezi kuelezeka vizuri kwa undani kwa lugha ya Kiswahili kwa hiyo basi tuko na mgeni kwenye studio leo na mgeni si mwingine bali ni father ataji introduce atajitambulisha atuelembie ametoka shirika gani na nina napenda sana lakini kwa njia kipekee father ana devotion kubwa sana kwa mtakatifu Yusufu kwanza kabisa mpendo wa mtazamaji je we ungependa sana kupanda ngazi katika maisha yako ya sala na maisha yako ya kiroho hmm? mtakatifu Yusufu basi yupo pale kwa Kristu wengi ambao wamejiweka wakfu kwa mama Maria kwa mtume mtakatifu wa Yesu ama kwa vikundi vingine wameweza kumkaribia Yesu kwa njia uh, moja ama nyingine na upendo wa Mungu umedhihirika katika maisha yao Hasan hasa aswa kupitia uh, vikundi hivi vya sala. Kwa hivyo basi bila um, bila kujali na bila kukuwa na tashwishi yote, kuna wale ambao wamejiweka wafu kwa mama Maria. Na ni jambo la muhimu sana katika maisha yetu ya kiroho. Hivyo basi mtakatifu Yosefu pia kujiweka wafu kwa mtakatifu Yosefu kwa kikundi cha mtakatifu ya Yosefu ni jambo la maana katika kanisa letu takatifu katoliki. Basi uh, tuko na padri hapa kwenye <laughs> studio leo na si mwingine bali padri waweza kujitambuliza identify yourself who you are and uh, now what 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 are you, you planning for us today? Thank you so much uh, for the general for inviting me here. I'm Father Jacob June Odero from the religious congregation of the contemplative evangelize of the heart of Christ our congregation is consecrated to the peers and the glorious heart of Christ and our blessed virgin mary under the title the virgin of revelation is our spiritual mother and saint joseph just and humble man of nazareth is our spiritual father That is why I'm so much humbled to be here so that you may talk about the greatness of St Joseph. Uh, we want Father Jacob Odero to take us through about uh, through this uh, devotion to St Joseph. Where did the devotion to St Joseph start from? The historicity. Eh maisha hii ya mtakatifu Yusufu na pia kikundi hiki cha sala wale ambao wanamfuata Yusufu kwa ukaribu sana wamejeka wafu kwa Yusufu hebu jongeni karibu jongeni karibu tuweze father aweze kutupakulia na kutuelezea historical foundation where did this devotion begin father jacob thank you so much uh, father gerald mm -hmm. uh, the history of saint joseph we encounter uh, saint joseph first of all in the the, the gospel of saint luke and saint matthew in the infa infancy narrative and uh, the two evangelists are the calling saint joseph the father of jesus and the spouse of the blessed virgin mary 
So the church has a very special devotion to St. Joseph and many saints, many popes, many mystics, uh, and even the scholars and the laity, uh, they praised the greatness of St. Joseph. So, but it was in the 16th century, in the 16th century, the Holy Spirit used St. Teresa of Avila to, so that, uh, to spread this devotion to St. Joseph to the entire world. And even before St. Teresa of Avila, we had also great saints, uh, like St. Ben Bernardin of St. Bernardin of uh, St. Benedict Bernardin of uh, of Clovo, St. Bernard of Clovo, uh, St. Bernardin of Siena. We also have St. Lawrence of Brindisi, and many many other saints, in which we'll, I'll talk about them uh, later. They had a very special devotion uh, to St. Joseph, and in the year 18. 1868, Joseph Lataste, the, on the order of preacher, wrote a letter to blessed Pope Pius uh, the, the, the Ninth, requesting him uh, to declare uh, St. Joseph to be the patron of the Universal Church. And in the year 1870, uh, Pope, Pius, uh, the, Pope Pius the Ninth, in his, uh, in his one of the beautiful uh, encyclical, Quemandum um, uh, uh, Deus, it was uh, it declares Saint Joseph the patron of the Universal Church. And when we are going uh, deeper into it, in the year 1889, uh, Pope Leo the Thirteenth wrote a beautiful encyclical. And I really love this encyclical. It's called Quam Quam Pluris. Quam Quam Pluris. This is one of the encyclical on the devotion to St. Joseph. And it was very much pronounced. How are we to carry out this devotion? Is well outlined in this encyclical uh, by Pope Leo the Thirteenth. The encyclical is called Quam Quam Pluris on devotion to St. Joseph. And in the year 1904, St. Andre Basset, and we call him Brother Andre Basset. He constructed one of the biggest oratory in Montreal, Canada, dedicated to St. Joseph. And even up to date, people are going there in Montreal, Canada uh, to, pay, uh, to pray uh, for the, inter the intercession of St. Joseph. Yes. And again, people, were, people used to write, ask St. Andre Basset, to, to, to pray for them. And St. Andrew Basset could inform the people that go to St. Joseph. It had Joseph. And he want everyone to go to St. Joseph. In fact, St. Joseph is one of the untapped grace in the Catholic Church. Later on became a, a cathedral and a, a basilica in 1904. Absolutely, Father. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, even to date, mm -hmm. uh, many people are, are, are going there mm -hmm. uh, to, to pray. Even the remains of St. Andrew Basset is there. Mm -hmm. so it has, it has become it's like the a biggest, shrine. It's the biggest basilica in mm -hmm. the world mm -hmm. uh, dedicated to St. Joseph. In the world dedicated to St. Joseph. So, in uh, I remember also uh, uh, Pope Pius X in the year uh, 1909 approved the litany of St. Joseph. The litany that you are using uh, today uh, was uh, approved in the year um, 1909. Yes, the litany you are using. And in 1962, uh, St. John, Paul, uh, St. John, St. John the 23rd uh, inserts the, the name of St. Joseph um, into the canon of the Mass. You know, we have the first, uh, first Eucharistic prayer, second Eucharistic prayer, the third, uh, third Eucharistic prayer, and the fourth Eucharistic prayer. So the canon, first of all, it was now the first Eucharistic prayer. So the name of St. Joseph was inserted in the canon of the Mass. And just the other day, 2013, Pope Francis inserts the name of St. Joseph in all Eucharistic prayer. And he also consecrates the Vatican State to St. Joseph. So that is the historicity, Father. So, mpendo mtazamaji kwa ufu ipitu, Father, metupatia taswira ya jinsa mbavyo uh, kundi hichi jamoyo mtakatifu wa Yesu ilipo wa, wa ku, muenzi mtakatifu Yosefu ilipo anza, kasema mwaka F1 mianane, sitini na nane, 
kupitia mtakatifu Yohane Yosefu la Taste ambaye alikuwa katika shirika la Order of Preachers ambaye aliandika barua kwa baba mtakatifu Pio wa tisa kutawaza kwamba uh, mtakatifu Yosefu ndiye amekuwa somo wa kanisa lote lote nzima si kweli alafu pia baba mtakatifu Pio, Pio alitangaza vivyo hivyo kwamba amekuwa uh, mtakatifu Yosefu amekuwa patron wa the universal church akatuambia mwaka 1889 na 89 baba mtakatifu Leo wa 13 aliandika waraka wake na barua rasmi ya kanisa ambayo inaitwa kwam kwam uh, pluris pluris ambayo inazungumzia sana kwa kuhusu mtakatifu Yosefu Yusufu kuna mtakatifu ambao anaitwa mtakatifu Andre Beset eh, Andre Beset alijenga uh, kanisa dogo kwanza akalieka akalieka mikononi mwake uh, mtakatifu Yosefu kama somo wake baadaye alipofunza mengi kuhusu mtakatifu Yusufu kanisa hili likakuwa likawa basilika kubwa sana duniani Unajua katika shirika letu la watafakari wanaweza njili ya moyo Yesu Kristo ina community congregation of the contemplative evangelizers our founder reverend father marengoni i said that if you are lacking any resources you go and ask through Saint through Saint Joseph when you are uh, you need a saint will support you when you have a project and it's financial assistance not coming Saint um, Joseph is instrumental because he's a patron saint of workers also Uh, so as we continue reflecting this and our last father Jacob now at this particular juncture mpendwa mtazamaji father there are saints you have mentioned some saints like Cass and Benedict of Clairvaux and other saints who were associated with uh, uh, the devotion to the sacred heart just uh, give, take us uh, through uh, some of those saints what they said why they were they emphasizing more on saint joseph what is that unique that, that, that captured these saints to speak more about saint joseph Thank you so much. Thank you so mm. much, uh, dear Father, uh, mm. for that question. Remember, Saint Joseph is a very unique saint. Mm. Saint Joseph is a very unique saint, mm -hmm. and is honored and loved as the man closest to Christ. And his virtue and his holiness uh, is extremely extraordinary. So all saints delight in Saint Joseph. In the litany of Saint Joseph, that now delight of all, delight of saints. Mm. So all saints delight in St Joseph. Wow. And remember after blessed virgin Mary mm. is St Joseph. Mm. And uh, the adoration rendered to God is called latria. And the highest veneration directed to our blessed virgin Mary is called um, hyperdulia. Is hyperdulia. <laughs> hyperdulia is uh, yeah. mm. uh, the extra, because you see our blessed virgin mary mm. uh, she is in a different category correct she's in a different category mm. and uh, we give her the highest kind of reverence highest kind of reverence we call hyperdulia correct. then after blessed virgin mary we have saint joseph mm -hmm. and saint jo is, is called uh, uh, the vener veneration given to saint joseph is called um, pro to dulia meaning first revered then other saints are dulia so you see all saints they revered saint joseph so now to tell you uh, because all saints uh, delights in him to list all the saints who were devoted to him will be impossible but there are few who really stands out mm. there are few who really stands out <laughs> because, on this devotion to saint joseph the protagonist the protagonist of saint joseph yeah well, um, the promoters the promoters of saint joseph mm. first of all saint bernard of siena wow this saint, is a great thing saint bernard of siena mm. had a very special devotion to saint joseph and indeed he promoted the devotion to saint joseph then again we have saint lawrence of brindisi saint lawrence of brindisi also revered and uh, promoted the devotion to saint joseph but now the holy spirit used saint teresa of avila saint teresa of avila was cured from cancer through the powerful intercession of saint joseph and saint teresa of avila her spiritual father was saint john of the cross and she introduced Saint John of the Cross to the greatness of Saint, of Saint Joseph and Saint John of the Cross said mm -hmm. that I did not know 
St. Joseph well enough, mm. but this will change. Mm -hmm. You know, St. Uh, John of the Cross mm. was one of the 16th um, century mystics. Mm -hmm. And uh, we revere him so much, mm -hmm. even in our congregation, the contemplative mm -hmm. evangelist of the heart of Christ. Mm -hmm. is, our, is our teacher uh, in, in matters of contemplation. So, and again, the other saint that really uh, loved St. Joseph um, was St. Alphonsus Liguori. F if you love our Blessed Virgin Mary, automatically we love our spiritual father, St. Joseph. We cannot claim to love Saint, uh, our Blessed Mother, yet we ignore St. Joseph. Remember, we are not a family of single motherhood. Our, ble uh, our Blessed Mother is our mother, and St. Joseph is our spiritual father. So St. Alphonsus Liguori loved St. Joseph so much, and he propagated that devotion uh, to the entire world. And again, we have Blessed William Joseph Chaminade. He stands out in, the pro uh, in, in propagating the devotion to St. Joseph. Blessed William Joseph Chaminade. We also have uh, 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 Blessed Anne Catherine Emmerich. Blessed Anne Catherine Emmerich, God gave her a special grace. Even various visions to know the greatness of St. Joseph. Many teaching about St. Joseph is also coming through the revelation of Catherine Anne Emmerich. Uh, you know, um, I'm stuck there when St. Teresa of Avila you said St. Teresa of Avila was cured of her cancer, cancerous disease yes. through the intercession of St. Joseph. That really has really moved me because uh, you know, so many people are suffering right now, nowadays, and they do not know the power of faith. Well, faith in uh, medical doctors, faith in also by prayer. And now today you are learning through the intercession of the saints. Hold it there, Father, we take a short break. When we come back, Father will explain to us in depth, in, in details, about these saints who are very instrumental with their protagonists, they are, they are promoters of St. John uh, St. Joseph devotion. We we'll take a short break. When we come back, Father is going to explain more in details. <laughs> Capuchin TV, your Catholic Broadcasting Ministry. Synodio Prayer We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path nor partially influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. We ask these of you who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. Capuchin TV, Kitambulisho Katoliki Dr. Nakaribu tena mpendo wa mtazamaji. Hii ni Kabuchin TV. Jina langu ni Padre Gerald. Kama unatu, uh, unajunga nasi mara ya kwanza kabisa ni kipindi chako cha Catholic Devotions ambapo tunachanganua, uh, tunatazama kwa undani vikundi vya sala katika kanisa letu takatifu. Basi leo ni siku ambapo unatazama kumusu uh, kundi cha mm, Yosefu, mtakatifu Yosefu, Devotion to St. Joseph. Na Father Jacob Odero June, anatueleza kwa undani jinsi ambavyo historia ya devotion hii ya mtakatifu Yosefu. Na pia mama kanisa tufunza nini kuhusu mm, devotion to St. Joseph. Father, welcome once again and we are discussing about uh, the devotion to St. Joseph. Father, when we took a short break, we were discuss discussing about the saints who are associated with this devotion. And I was stuck there about the life and times of St. Teresa of Avila. She was suffering cancer. And when she prayed through the intercession of St. Joseph, miraculously, she received the healing. And that is 
gave us gave a momentum to continue propagating this work uh, this uh, devotion father take us to other saints uh. oh, thank you so much thank mm. you so much father again also one of the promoter of um, of saint joseph was saint andre basset saint andre basset really loved saint joseph so much to an extent that um, the oratory in honor of saint joseph uh, was constructed uh, is, and is in Montreal, Canada. Again, Venerable Fulton Sheen, he was a, a lover. He was a lover of uh, St. Joseph. Great man. The, yes, the way even he loved our Blessed Mother. Yes. He, he loved our Blessed Mother so much. Mm -hmm. Because you cannot make an attempt of loving our Blessed Mother while ignoring St. Joseph. And again, also, we have um, Jose Maria Escriva, uh, the founder of Opus Dei. In fact, uh, he developed a devotion again of the seven Sundays devotion uh, to, to St. Joseph. What are those and, seven Sundays devotion? Yeah, those seven Sundays devotion mm -hmm. to St. Joseph, uh, there is maybe the, the, every, uh, the first Sunday, every Sunday of the, Sunday of the month, uh, you make an attempt of going to the sacrament of penance and uh, receiving the Holy uh, Holy Communion and uh, also moving closer, living, making an attempt to live the life of virtue and just to go for seven consecutive Sundays. And then again, uh, and in fact, there's Opus Dei, they have a very love, great devotion to St. Joseph because their founder uh, introduced them to St. Joseph. We also have St. John Paul II, uh, he also loved St. Joseph so much, and Pope Leo the, 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 the 13th, uh, the dignity of St. Joseph, uh, he said that the dignity of St. Joseph surpasses that of angels. He raised St. Joseph to that level, that the dignity of St. Joseph surpasses uh, that level. So the way I indicated uh, that um, I cannot give all the saints, because all Thank saints, you. all saints delight in St. Joseph. And we get that in the litany of St. Joseph. Okay. Yes. You're, so, dear, dear friend who you are watching here, you know, St. Uh, Peter Julian Emiad, Elmiadu said, when God wishes to raise a soul to a greater height, he unites it to St. Joseph. By giving it a strong love for the good saint. And before a devotion is accepted in the Catholic Church, it has to be shifted. And the church has to give an approval, especially through the popes. Now, I want to ask Father Jacob to explain to us uh, the papal documents, some of the papal documents which have elevated the status of St. Joseph and has made us and uh, encouraged us to have this special devotion to St. Joseph. Father, can you take us to some of the papal documents and decrees about uh, St. Joseph? Thank you so much. Mm. The Mother Church, in her divine wisdom, wanted her children to have a special devotion to St. Joseph. And for us to have a special devotion to St. Joseph, therefore, the documents and the encyclicals and the decrees were to be written very well so that people may follow a sound devotion, not to go to the extreme. So when Blessed uh, Joseph Letaste requested Pope Pius IX, uh, to declare St. Joseph as the patron of the Universal Church. Then Pope Pius uh, the Ninth wrote a decree, wrote a decree, Quemad Modum Deus, uh, making St. Joseph as the patron of the Universal Church. So in that decree, St. Joseph is now raised and is now given that dignity that he protects the Catholic Church. And Pope Leo the 13th, on August 15th, 1889, wrote an encyclical, Quam Quam Pluris, on devotion to St. Joseph. Well elaborate. Wonderful document. Wonderful document. Mm. That's why I invite all of you, make an attempt of reading that, this document. Quam quam pluris, on devotion to St. Joseph. So the devotion to St. Joseph did not begin the other day. It started all the way back. Then again, there is an encyclical, Livucci, the voice, by Pope John, uh, Pope John the 23rd. When he named St. Joseph the patron of the Second Vatican II Council. The voice. Because the voice of St. Joseph, the voice of the church, was to reach out. So this document, Levochi Chada Tutti, was the 
document, the encyclical, that um, allowed uh, St. Joseph to be the patron of the Vatican II Council. And again, uh, St. John Paul II, in August 15, 1989, wrote an ap apostolic exhortation on St. Joseph, and also the role, indicating the role of St. Joseph in the family. Yes, and again, there's apostolic letter the other day, apostolic letter, uh, Saint Pran Pope, uh, Pope, Pope Francis, Pope Francis. Uh, Patrice <laughs> Corde, Patrice, Patrice Corde, Corde. Mm. when he was declaring the, the uh, when, when he was uh, <laughs> when he was uh, when he was declaring the year of Saint Joseph, yes, Saint Joseph and in it. fact I've been praying <laughs> that one day mm. the church will clear the year of Saint Joseph. Mm. So when the so, year of Saint Joseph 2020 mm -hmm. was declared, mm. I was very happy. You said thanks be to God. Yes, but, but again I'm afraid. I'm afraid mm. because mm. that year was mm. declared mm. during the COVID. Year. Yeah. So not much attention was paid. Mm. Not much attention was paid on the practice mm. and the love mm. of St. Joseph. Mm. I'm still also praying mm -hmm. that again, another <laughs> year of St. Joseph <laughs> to be declared so that uh, people may understand deeply mm. the greatness of this man. Mm. Yes, Father. Yes, you know, dear friend, uh, uh, consecration to St. Joseph will help you become another Joseph uh, for Jesus and Mary. If you read the Bible, the Gospel of Luke chapter 2, verse 52, the Bible says... Uh, Jesus increased in stature and in favor with God and man. Right. Yes. So uh, why under the watchful care of his parents? Such an in for such an increase to happen, you have to be entrusted to someone. So Jesus was entrusted to who? To St. Joseph as his father. So St. Joseph, in other words, is called the increaser. Because Jesus increased in stature, he increased with fa in favor, and he grew in the love of God. So, now, that leads us to the next question, Father, which the dear friend is asking. Now, you, what are you talking about St. Joseph, St. Joseph? Why devotion to St. Joseph? Why should uh, a, a friend, a listener, you is, who is watching, the viewer, hmm, why should the viewer dedicate himself or herself to St. Joseph? Why consecration to St. Joseph? Why St. Joseph, Father? Thank you so much for that question. Mm -hmm. Remember the way Father has indicated that Joseph means increaser. And Joseph will increase both spiritual and material needs in your family. Joseph means increaser. So all Christians belong to St. Joseph because Jesus and Mary belonged to him. That's one reason why St. Joseph, because all Christians belong to St. Joseph. Why? Because Jesus and Mary belonged to him. So when God wants, the way uh, St. Peter Julian Amard, Father indicated earlier, that when God wants to raise his soul to greater heights, he unites that very soul to St. Joseph. So all of us, he wants to move to a greater heights. Therefore, there's need for us to love and have a very special devotion to St. Joseph. The church and the world need St. Joseph more than ever before. The church Why? and the world need St. Joseph more than ever Why? before. Why now? Great. We need the spiritual fatherhood mm -hmm. of St. Joseph mm -hmm. to help us protect marriage and family. St. Lucia dos Santos, one of the lived visionaries of Fatima Apparition, said that the final battle, the final battle between our blessed Lord and the kingdom of Satan will be about marriage and family. Therefore, we need St. Joseph. The family, the foundation of society, is under attack. St. Joseph is the terror of demon. St. Joseph will protect our families from destruction. That's why we need him in our family. Remember, St. Joseph is the light of the patriarch. In the litany of St. Joseph, uh, we call him St. Joseph the light of patriarch. Remember, uh, from Latin, um, uh, Lumen Patriarcarum. St. Joseph is Lumen Patriarcarum. Remember, Lumen or Lucis means light. And from the very beginning, you remember when God was creating the, 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 the angels, and one of the angels that was created was called Lucifer. Lucis, meaning now uh, Lucifer, the bearer of the light. He was the bearer of the light. But because of pride, because of arrogance, God decided to lower him down. And remember, his office was given to St. Joseph. So 
Now today you know now who is the bearer of light is St. Joseph. That's why in the litany we call him Lumen Patriarchum, the light of the patriarch. He carried our blessed Lord on his arms who is the light. So we need St. Joseph because society is in deep crisis. Abortion is on the rise. Moral depravity. Pornography and pornovision is on the rise. Gender confusion. Empty churches. Cultural chaos. Same-sex union. Indeed, our society is in deep crisis. We need St. Joseph to protect our families. To protect our marriages. So, St. Joseph had three missions to carry. He had only three missions to carry when he was on earth. First one is to protect our blessed Lord. To protect our dear mother. And to protect you and me. Because our blessed mother and our dear Lord is in heaven. And as we are still here, then the work of St. Joseph is ongoing. Because he's there to protect us. Remember, the church is waging a tripartite battle. The battle against the flesh. The battle against the world. And the battle against Satan. So therefore, we need uh, the protection of St. Joseph. Who can help us to understand what marriage and family is all about? If not the head of the Holy Family, that's the question. So we remember um, when Pope John Paul, in his uh, apostolic uh, uh, letter, Familiaris Consortio, talked about the dangers and the threats of the family. In fact, those dangers... We still experience them today. That is why we need uh, St. Joseph. Dear Father, another point, my dear people, another point why we need uh, St. Joseph, we need re-evangelization. Even the Baptist Christians need to be re-evangelized. And remember, St. Joseph was the first missionary. Remember the flight to Egypt. He was the first one to move. In fact, we normally say that the first procession with our blessed Lord, <laughs> the, uh, the first procession, the first procession was to Egypt, to Egypt mm. was, was carried by St. Joseph and our blessed mother mm. when they're carrying our blessed Lord. Mm -hmm. Remember, uh, as we pro we'll, we'll, we'll engage later uh, in our liturgy, uh, the, 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 the feast of Corpus Christi, where we'll carry out the procession of the blessed Lord Bound around. Mm. The one, the first one mm. to carry that was St. Joseph mm. when they were, uh, that flight to Egypt. Yes. Father, you know, uh, dear, dear listener and dear viewer, you know, all uh, children resemble their fathers. And that's why Father is saying the devotion to St. Joseph is very, very important. Because uh, as a child, Joseph resembles, uh, as a child of St. Joseph, you also are a child of God. You need to resemble him, especially by imitating what? His virtues, his faithfulness to Jesus and Mary. And um, St. Joseph plays a vital role in our spiritual growth and also in our well-being. And that's why Father is saying it is it's very important because the world which we are right now is a sinking world. There are so many issues have affecting our families. And we need that special attention uh, through the intercession of St. Joseph. Father, before we go for a short break, maybe enlighten us more about now how to, how, uh, what do, should we do? Someone has heard about St. Joseph the first time. And there is a special devotion for St. Joseph. What's the first step to do? Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, uh, uh, Father, and my uh, dear viewers. Because all of us, as I indicated earlier, that all Christians belong to St. Joseph, because our blessed mother and our dear, our blessed Lord belong to him. So the first thing is that now to develop that interest that love towards St. Joseph because God wants to raise, at, raise us to a higher height, level. higher level <laughs> in, our spiritual, in, in, our, in our spiritual life mm. by living a life of virtue mm. and holiness. So the first step is just, for example, you just develop uh, that love towards uh, St. Towards Joseph. Then from that, uh, God will take care of, 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 of everything. Well explained, dear friend. Uh, we're about to take a short break and uh, leave with these words of St. Teresa of Avila. She's saying, knowing by experience, St. Joseph's astonishing influence uh, with God, I'll persuade everyone to honor him with this particular devotion. So I always see those who honor him in a special way make progress of virtue. For this heavenly protect protector, he favors them. 
in a very striking manner and also they have what you call spiritual advancement you grow in your spiritual life so dear friend before father comes and explain to us the journey to consecration you know people consecrate themselves sacred heart members you consecrate yourself uh, other devotional groups immaculate heart of mary they consecrate themselves to the sacred heart to the to their particular devotional group now father is going to take us through the consecration journey so that you become a member of the sacred heart devotion we we'll take a short break don't go away <laughs> Capuchin TV, your Catholic broadcasting ministry. Prayer for our earth. All powerful God, you are present in the universe and in the smallest of your creatures. You embrace with your tenderness all that exists. Pour out upon us the power of your love, that we may protect life and beauty. Fill us with your peace, that we may live as brothers and sisters, harming no one. O God of the poor, help us to rescue the abandoned and forgotten of this earth, so precious in your eyes. Bring healing to our lives, that we may protect the world and not prey on it, that we may sow beauty, not pollution and destruction. Touch the hearts of those who look only for gain, all the expense of the poor and the earth. Teach us to discover the worth of each thing, to be filled with awe and contemplation, to recognize that we are profoundly united with every creature, as we journey towards your infinite light. We thank you for being with us each day. Encourage us, we pray, in our struggles, for justice, love and peace. Amen. This prayer was published in Pope Francis' encyclical, Laudato Si. It is for all who believe in God, who is all-powerful creator. Capuchin TV Kitambulisho Katoliki Haribu tena mpendo wa mtazamaji hii ni Capuchin TV uh, kipindi chako ni kipindi cha Catholic Devotion ukiwa na mifadha Gerald Omunyeni kutoka shirika la utafakari wa neza njili ya moyo wa Yesu Kristo na leo tutazungumzia kwa undani kuhusu kundi la mtakatifu Yusufu Sacred Heart uh, St Joseph kumradhi St Joseph devotion devotion kwa mtakatifu Yusufu je wewe kwa kikundi hiki cha mtakatifu Yusufu basi usiondoke katika awamu hii father tutuelezea kwa undani jinsi ambavyo unaweza jiunga na kikundi cha mtakatifu Yusufu na jinsi ya kujiweka wakfu kwenye kikundi hiki cha mtakatifu Yusufu. Welcome back dear friend as we are talking to Father Jacob. Father Jacob kind you know someone who is listening to to us and is following us our viewer, viewer and this person is asking himself or herself wow if that is the case I want to become a member. I want to become part and parcel of St Joseph uh, devotional group. Take us through the process of, and then how can one consecrate himself or herself to this devotion to St. Joseph? Thank you so much, Father. Yeah, first of all, uh, before giving you the, the, the steps, uh, how maybe one becomes a member, the question, uh, why consecration to St. Joseph? And we're still maybe repeating the very, very words of St. Peter Julian Amad, that when, one God, when God wants to raise his soul to a greater height, he unites that very, very soul to St. Joseph. Because all of us, we want to be raised to that height, therefore, there's a need to consecrate ourselves to St. Joseph. Uh, remember, Consecrating ourselves to St. Joseph means that um, we entrust ourselves to the paternal care of St. Joseph. We entrust ourselves to the paternal care of St. Joseph. The, 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 the essence of the Marian consecration is to become another Mary for Jesus. So the same, same thing also St. Joseph. We want to become another Joseph for Mary and Jesus by living a life of virtue, by living a life of holiness. So St. Joseph will help you become faithful, will help you uh, become loving and a trusting companion of Jesus and Mary. So consecrating yourself to St. Joseph meaning you are entrusting yourself totally 
the way um, St. John Paul really loved the Blessed Virgin Mary. And he was saying that uh, totus, uh, uh, tot, uh, he was totally totally yes the way for example, when you are totally to a blessed mother mm. also that's the same same thing mm. you also want also to be totally uh, consecrated to saint joseph and love saint joseph because saint joseph is a, a model of interior life a life of virtue and a life of holiness so the first thing maybe f to be consecrated saint joseph uh, we normally uh, we teach people uh, for, uh, for almost for almost uh, thirty uh, for almost uh, uh, thirty days. It's a formation. Is a, a formation. Is a formation. Yes. What so that, is now in, entailed in this formation now? What is there? Mm. Yes. We, we have every day. We have every day. We have a point of re a reflection mm. on uh, uh, Saint Joseph, and we are using the litany of Saint Joseph. We are using the litany. We are drawing our teaching. We are drawing our theological explanation through the litany and, of course, through the scripture, the tradition of the church, and the teaching magisterium of the church. Correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, first of all, we teach you so that you may have the knowledge. Mm -hmm. You may have the knowledge mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, on St. Joseph. Mm -hmm. Please, maybe allow me very quickly uh, the, es the essence of uh, uh, why, why, mm. maybe, why consecrate, our, why consecrate yes. ourselves to the sacred to the to the to, the, to Saint Joseph? To Saint Joseph, mm -hmm. uh, in our beautiful formula, mm -hmm. in our beautiful formula, captures almost everything. Mm -hmm. We say, for example, will allow me very quickly to read it mm -hmm. uh, meditatively. We say, I, a child of God, take you, Saint Joseph, to be my spiritual father. I am confident that Jesus and Mary have led me to you. Nobody can lead you to, uh, to St. Joseph without the help of our blessed mother and our blessed Lord. To know you, to love you, and to be t totally consecrated to you. So you are, first of all, for those journey, 33 days, uh, 30 days, learning about St. Joseph so that you may know him, you may love him, and then the last, uh, the last process now when you, is now when you consecrate yourself to St. Joseph. First of all, having the knowledge, then loving Saint, Saint Joseph, because you're moving from knowledge to love. Yes, and this love is what we call devotion, from knowledge to love. Then from love, then we entrust ourselves to Saint Joseph. It is not maybe it is not it is not that it is not that hard. It's maybe just the love <laughs> and the love of Saint Joseph, and, and we teach you and the many prayers that I will talk about. Mm. Many prayers that you will accompany us every day, mm. so that you may love and. Uh, if I may ask you a question, Father, as you continue explaining about the consecration to Saint Joseph, why this devotion to Saint Joseph? Uh, what two questions in one? Eh? What are the particular prayers people are supposed to pray through the intercession of St. Joseph? Because now, for Marians, they have the Hail Mary, we have Alma Mater, we have all these prayers. For those of the Sacred Heart, they have uh, their prayers. For those in the Joachim and Anne. So in this devotion to, to St. Joseph, which are the particular prayer a viewer will be praying as he is a devotee of St. Joseph? Question number one. And question number two. Let me highlight, you know, as for us Christians, we love uh, exaggerating. And we, uh, me and you as a priest, we've been taught how to teach Christians the right magisterium of the church. So which are the abuses people uh, put in this devotion to St. Joseph? So, question to you, to you. Thank you so much for that question. Mm -hmm. Yes, St. Joseph, as I indicated that St. Joseph is one of the untapped grace uh, in the Church of Christ. And uh, we are making an attempt to bring St. Joseph on board. We want people to have a special devotion uh, to St. Joseph. So uh, one of the practices that um, after loving, uh, after knowing, loving, and consecrating yourself to St. Joseph, we'll encourage you to make an attempt to pray. We have the very beautiful prayer. <laughs> the, the very beautiful novena of St. Joseph. called Whoa. the Holy mm. Clock Novena it's of St. Joseph. Holy Clock. Holy Clock. Holy Clo Clock Novena of St. Joseph. The, the one we wear. Yes. Mm. So of, of, of the ladies, it's called mantle. Like mantle. Blessed Virgin Mary <laughs> is uh, the, our holy mantle. Mm. Yes, but of men, it's called Lord a clock. clock. Yes. Ah, the Holy Clock of? The Holy Clock of Novena Saint, of St. Joseph. Mm. Yeah, is that what the about this novena? Is the outer... Uh, the, 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 this Holy Clock... The, the clock is the outer government of St. Joseph. Yes. So this prayer, uh, we are praying. Uh, it is a, it is a, a 30, 30 days. 
In November, almost nine days, but this one you can maybe make an attempt even you continue up maybe 30 days. Mm. Why 30 days? Because Saint Joseph lived with our blessed mother and our dear, our dear Lord for 30 years. So that's why we are, uh, we are praying a 30 day novena. A 30 day novena. Mm. Very powerful novena. Mm. Very, very powerful novena. In fact, um, Saint Padre Pio of Petrochina uh, said that. He has never seen anybody who is praying the Novena, Holy Clock, Novena of St. Joseph, together also with St. Teresa of Avila, and has not been answered. So, you see that, St. Teresa of Avila, you see that, even if you doubt this Novena, just try it. Even if you doubt. <laughs> yeah, even if you mm. doubt, even mm. if you doubt that, no. Mm. Is hey, it, this is too much. This uh, is, uh, just, St. Teresa of try Avila, saying, just try, try it, mm, and, you will, and, you, mm. and you will, and you will, and you will, and you will see the consequences. The, yes, the, uh, the consequences of this of this novena. Mm -hmm. So, because we have various needs, mm -hmm. our family is in crisis. We need a financial breakthrough. There are those who are sick. We need many things from our blessed Lord. Remember, Saint Joseph means increaser. So, when we pray this holy clock novena, we will instantly receive the breakthrough. There are millions. There are, there are thousands and thousands of people who have prayed uh, this holy clock novena, and. Uh, uh, they have received. They have seen the result. Apart from that, we have also the uh, Saint Joseph uh, Litany, right? Y yes. Apart from that, also mm -hmm. uh, Saint Joseph Litany is part of the when you are praying the Holy Clock Novena mm -hmm. is is, part is, is part and parcel of it. Mm -hmm. We have also the Memorial of Saint Joseph is part and parcel of it. Mm -hmm. So we also have the the the, the chaplet of Saint Joseph. We have the seven sorrows and the seven joys of Saint Joseph. So when you become a devotee, you will tend to love the Holy Clock Novena at St. Joseph. You will develop that uh, love toward the chaplet of, um, of St. Joseph, uh, the, 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 Holy uh, the, the, the seven sorrows and seven joys of St. Joseph. Then also I uh, indicated the, the seven Sundays devotion to St. Joseph. Again, remember, every Wednesday in our congregation of the contemplative evangelizers of the heart of Christ, Every Wednesday, we celebrate the votive mass for St. Joseph. The needs of our congregation. For, for the needs of our congregation. Yeah, spiritual yes. Spiritual and particular Sp material needs. Huh? Spiritual and material needs. Mm. So every Wednesday, unless it is, is, is impeded by any other feast or any other memorial, every Wednesday in our congregation, we celebrate uh, the votive mass of St. Joseph. So make also atten an attempt of attending every Wednesday, attend uh, maybe the mass in honor of Saint, Saint of Saint Joseph, and again from that, also make also Saint Joseph loves flowers. Make an attempt of. I almost ask you that question. Yes. You know, Saint Joseph is identified with the lilies. With the lilies. When oh. you see the statue of Saint Joseph or the picture of Saint Joseph, he's you see holding, the holding a lily. Absolutely. Why? Why Thank that? You. <laughs> Thank you, Father. The mm. the lily mm. the lily is is a symbol of integrity of Saint Joseph, mm. the purity of Saint Joseph. Mm. Uh, the, 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 the love of St. Joseph. It, in fact, that's why um, many saints are saying the name of St. Joseph terrorizes the devil. Demons. The terror of demons. The terror right? of demons. Mm. The purity of, of St. Joseph mm. terrorizes the, 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 the demon. Uh, the, the humility of St. Joseph terrorizes the, demo, the, the, the devil. So that lily is a symbol of integrity. A symbol of love, a symbol of faithfulness. That is why when you see St. Joseph, every statue, you see St. Joseph carrying the lily. Mm. Call it the lily of St. Joseph. Or when the people are doing consecration, during the consecration. During the consecration, we normally mm. give them the lily of St. Joseph. <laughs> so beautiful. And mm. that lily, mm. uh, it, it blossoms eh, as a, an answered prayer. Answered prayer. It blossoms well and uh, it is good. So we really encourage all of you uh, to love and have a very special devotion to St. Joseph. So every first Wednesday of the month, uh, maybe you can visit a shrine dedicated to St. Joseph, uh, make a prayer to St. Joseph, and also remember also to pray for the souls in purgatory. I have a very special uh, love to the souls in purgatory. So that is, uh, that is how we have to go about it in this devotion. You know, dear friend, uh, that is the beauty we have in the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church is a is full of treasure of prayers and dedication and the devotional groups. You have the Eucharist, we have the Rosary, we have uh, the Sacred Heart, we have St. Joachim and Nana, we have uh, so many um, devotional groups and spiritualities associated with our church to help us to reach and unite ourselves to the Lord. Uh, before we almost conclude, conclude our program today, I wanted to ask Father this question. You know, as Christians, 
there comes a time there's a tendency to avoid exaggeration whereby you, you give precedence to the devotion more than what the church teaches but there are some abuses for us maybe as devotees of saint joseph people are doing things maybe and we have observed can we highlight those things and then tell tell us now don't do these uh, do this in if you are a member of saint joseph do a b c d thank you so much father for that question mm -hmm. uh remember um saint thomas aquinas the prince of the catholic theologians and also uh, aristotle the philosopher is they said in medio start virtus virtue is in the middle <laughs> Correct. so when you go to the extreme you there, become an extremist <laughs> you become an extremist yeah so that's mm. why the church is coming with a very wonderful decrees mm. very wonderful encyclical and apostolic letters mm. on how we are to do this particular devotion that's why we have the prayers we have the prayers of saint joseph Correct. yes so we have to avoid this extreme mm. and remember all devotions all prayers that we are, we are doing mm is geared to our blessed lord the adoration of our blessed lord mm. all prayers is geared towards mm. our blessed lord Jesus. so our focus will be our attention mm. should be our blessed lord that's why i said the one to be adored or to be glorified is our blessed lord and the kind of adoration rendered to our blessed lord is called latria then now other saints are in fact our blessed virgin mary the one who is calling our blessed mother mary saint uh, saint mary saint mary is only given uh, to the institutions Right. Yes, but not to our blessed mother. If you see one is calling our, our sweet mother uh, Saint Mary, that one might be either a convert to Catholic, uh, um, uh, uh, to Catholic, or maybe one who is uh, is not a Catholic. They'll Hi. call our blessed mother. Mm. Uh, they'll call our blessed uh, uh, Virgin, Virgin Mary as Saint Mary. Mm. In fact, our blessed mother is out is, is uh, the kind of uh, veneration given, given to, her to her is beyond, is beyond. Mm. that's why it's beyond no moment in time will call our, our, our sweet mother saint mary saint mary we only maybe we, 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 institutions. To institutions and in 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 reverence to our dear mother mm. but we call our blessed virgin mary uh, uh our dear mother not right. saint mary <laughs> so Every devotion, that's why our Blessed Virgin Mary and even St. Joseph, mm -hmm. all the prayers that we tend to uh, direct towards them, they are directed because humility will not allow them. They direct those praises to our Blessed Lord. So we have to avoid this extreme uh, kind of uh, 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 worship and do things that which is true, that which is beautiful in a very correct way. Let us, we should avoid uh, such kind of practices and just develop that love uh, towards uh, St. Joseph. Dear friend, uh, when we have this meditation, wakati tunavoizo tunatafakari kuhusu vikundi hivi katika kanisa letu takatifu, lazima tunangalia Biblia nasema vipi, Biblical foundation, tunangalia historical foundation, jinsi ambao historia, kihistoria, uh, kikundi kikilianzia wapi. Alafu tunaingilia tunaangalia jinsi mababa wa kanisa walizozungumza kuhusu kikundi hiki tunatazama jinsi ambavyo mama kanisa kupitia mababa watakatifu walizungumza lini na waliandika nyaraka zipi kuhusu hawa watakatifu na pia uh, tunaangalia uh, hususan jinsi ambavyo vikundi hivi vimesaidia kuboresha imani katika maisha ya Mkristo tunaishi nyakati ngumu sana na nyakati hizi ukiangalia mama kanisa anatuelekeza sana kwa maombezi ya mtakatifu Yusufu Yo basi leo tumezungumza kwa, kwa mapana na marefu kuhusu huyu mtakatifu Yusufu. Lakini kila ambacho napenda kusisitiza ni kwamba kila jimbo, kila uh, eneo kuna ile gate inaitwa pastoral guidelines. Na hizi pastoral guidelines zinatuelekeza jinsi ambavyo tutaweza kuboresha maisha yetu ya sala kupitia hivi vikundi. Kwa hivyo basi usinue kikundi chako zaidi kuliko liturujia ya misa. Mm -mm. Hivi ni vik ni vikundi ambavyo vinatusaidia kuboresha maisha yetu ya imani na kutukaribisha katika Mungu. Lakini kile ambacho nimegusa sana na kwenye fadhili amefunza leo kwenye kipindi chetu ni kwamba mtakatifu Yosefu ni mponyaji. Mtakatifu Yosefu ni mponyaji mkubwa sana. Na ndiyo amesema kwamba ni baadhi ya wale uh, mit, um, watakatifu ambao bado hatujaingia kwenye hazina wako na chemchemi ya hazina ya, ya baraka nyingi sana kupitia maombezi ya mtakatifu. Unajua Yosefu alikuwa mtu mtulivu sana hakuwa anaongea zaidi ndipo anakuwa anaishi maisha fiche. Kwa <laughs> basi mpendo wa mtazamaji, uh, kabla ya tamatisha ningemuuliza baba uh, Father Jacob to tell us father, your final words about the devotion to Saint Joseph before we conclude. Thank you so much. In fact, what we are telling the people of God we want people of God 
to seek the intercession of St. Joseph. And they're telling you, eat at Joseph. Go to Joseph. In, uh, when you go to St. Joseph, we will receive uh, the healing that we need because as indicated earlier, uh, St. Joseph means increaser. And we really thank God uh, for introducing, uh, giving us St. Joseph as our spiritual father. Remember, we have, um, uh, we have the earthly trinity and the heavenly trinity. Uh, our, bless, our blessed Lord wants us to be part and parcel of the heavenly trinity. Uh, since uh, we are to be, to be part and parcel of the heavenly trinity, God made a perfect replica of the uh, earthly trinity of Jesus, Mary, and St. Joseph. For us to be part and parcel of the heavenly trinity, you must first of all be part and parcel of the earthly trinity. You must have a devotion to our blessed Lord, looking at his interior, at it, his love, his most sacred heart. Let us dive into the ocean of his divine mercy. Let us also have uh, the devotion to our blessed mother, in our immaculate heart, and again to the chaste heart of St. Joseph. Thanks a lot, uh, Father, for a very, very uh, nice elaboration. We have elaborated well uh, about the devotion to St. Joseph. Dear friend, do you have any question relating to our program? Kindly send uh, your SMSs and questions via the SMSs line as they are passing by your screen. May God bless you for keeping in touch with us. Until we meet again next time, we, we continue with our discussions about our devotional groups. Do you want us to feature any devotional group kindly uh, send that appeal my name is father gerald omunin from the contemplative evangelize of the heart of christ together with father jacob junodero from the same congregation the contemplative evangelizers of the heart of christ god bless you for joining us till we meet again i will ask father jacob you know as priest you cannot finish a program or a meeting without a prayer father can you lead us to, to pray using this is your microphone correct in the name of the Father, and the, the Son, and, and the, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. O our blessed Redeemer, when you want to raise a soul to greater heights, you unite that very soul to St. Joseph. We thank you, our dear Lord, that you may continue protecting our families with your most precious blood. We present their today and their tomorrow into your hands. Give us the healing that we need. We make our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God bless and protect you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed evening to meet again. Bye. <laughs>